Hey guys, what's going on? Lunar here with another Skyrim console mod video. Now I released a video earlier today confirming that there are in fact PlayStation 4 mods now available for Skyrim Special Edition that you can add to your library right now so they are available for download. And so in this video I have five confirmed mods that you can download for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Now obviously going forward there are a lot more Xbox One mods than PlayStation 4 mods but I will try and add as many PlayStation 4 mods to these videos as possible in the next couple of days as we get closer to release. So we're not going to waste any time we're just going to get straight into number one. First up we have Hearthfire Building Material God Chest. Adds a chest full of everything one could possibly need for building your house in Hearthfire. Not only are building materials included, but materials for all of the trophies are included as well. And it warns you here that not to store anything in these chests as you will lose them. Please note that sawn logs cannot be added to the chest as they never placed in your inventory to compensate. The chest contains a silly amount of gold for you to buy them instead. The chests are located in the main building sites outside of all the houses. You will see their locations in the screenshots that you can see in the video. Also adds trapdoors leading to the QA smoke testing cell where you can find all the items in game enter at your own risk it warns, they are located in the same area as the chests. Due to the PS4 mods not allowing external assets, the contents of the chest will not reset. So if you take these items out they are gone for good. To combat this, he has added the maximum number allowed for each item in the chest, which is 65,535 of each item. And it doesn't mention whether or not it does reset on Xbox One, but I assume that it does. Next we have three mods in a row, all that are not that big mods and they don't give you too much information but we will still cover them anyway. First we have God Gear and all it says about this one is when you simply don't care about the combat realism, the mod comes with four pieces of armor and various weapons with insane enchants. So if you don't care about realism at all and you just want to destroy everything in your path, then you can use the God Gear. Next up is the Dark Brotherhood Forever to Miscellaneous Quests. It's just a small fix to a main quest and it switches it into a miscellaneous quest rather than it taking up space in your main quest journal. The capstone quest for the Dark Brotherhood questline, Dark Brotherhood Forever, will be listed as a miscellaneous quest in your journal. So this infinitely repeatable quest is a better fit there anyway rather than as someone to clog your main quest journal. So that is all this mod does and there are plenty of other ones like this that have just came out for Xbox One and I will go over those in a separate video but this is the only one out so far for PS4. The fourth mod is Dovahkiin Keep. Large castle that can hold a lot of armor and weapon with well over a hundred mannequins allowing you to create every possible armor combination that you can come up with. Again, this one doesn't come with any more information than that, so this is definitely one I will have to go over in a mod showcase to give you guys a lot more detail on what this mod is about. But based on the pictures, it looks really cool anyway. Our fifth and final mod is Scroll Crafting, and this is a really cool mod. Tired of having to level up your magic skills for hours just to have some decent spells? Not to mention the amount of magic I needed for high level spells. Do you also feel like scrolls are just used to make quick coin because there's not enough of them in the game? Well, this mod changes that. With scroll crafting, you'll be able to craft every single scroll in the game with basic items that you find around the world. The crafting system also features its own specific perk through the enchantment skill tree. In terms of features, you get 85 craftable scrolls, a new perk system, crafting of paper rolls for scroll crafting, brand new crafting table unique to scroll crafting, guide to scroll crafting book, player dungeon with inscription table, items to get started and a player owned bed, player own chest in front of the bed for safe material and scroll keeping and easily accessible via the College of Winterhold. To craft a scroll you will need inkwell and a quill in your inventory. These items will not be removed upon scroll crafting. You'll also need a minimum of one paper roll and one charcoal. So they've tried their hardest to make this as real as possible. You also need to have the required perks. And if you're trying to find it in the College of Winterhold, there is a trapdoor on the opposite side of the college where the Midden is located. So a very handy and cool and useful immersive mod right there that you can download for both Xbox and PlayStation 4. And you can download all of these for PlayStation 4 in fact. Well guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. I will be back tomorrow with another five confirmed console mods, although I'm not sure how many of them will be available for PlayStation 4. As always, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you all next time for more Skyrim Special Edition.